a breathtaking 90 overall center middle player. Stick around, I'm going to show you how I got this scary monster and at the end of this video, I'll show you a little trick on how I leveled up this fast and what setting I have used to help me advance my performance. But first, I would like to thank you for your support. This channel got more than 4.2k views and 600 subscribers since it started last month. Welcome back everyone, in this video I'm going to guide you on the build I have used to get a 90 overall CM. I have received many requests to make this video after my 90 overall striker and cam videos. If you'd like to see that, press the link on the top right corner or in the descriptions down below. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for me to continue revealing you all the tips, tricks and glitches in FIFA Pro Clubs world. With that being said. Let's get into the build. So let's get into the player growth and select our position. Let's go to the profile settings and make sure we are at a CDM position. The height 5'8", weight 119 and the preferred foot left or right that is up to you. Let's get into the traits over here. So for physical I got all stamina and some strength. And for defending, I got all defending that's needed. And for dribbling, I got all dribbling except the skill moves and the flare passes. And for passing, I got some passing. This player does not really need much passing. For shooting, I got finishing and some power shots and all acceleration and pace. And obviously for goalkeeping, we got zero. Since that's done, let's go back and look at the attributes over here. For physical, 82, defending, 89, dribbling, 85, passing, 88, shooting, 76, and pace, 80. As I promised in the beginning of the video, I'm going to teach you a trick on how I was able to level up my pro. The way I did it was through playing with the pro camera settings. Believe me, once you try it, you will never use any other camera after it. There are many reasons why this camera is very helpful in pro clubs. Number one is that you'll be able to control your player a hundred times better than a regular camera since it's in a first person view. Number two, you'll be able to vision the pitch much more and you'll see many things that a regular camera settings won't show you. Last reason that is not related, you'll be able to touch base on the real soccer pitch experience. You'll see other players move with you and your attacking, passing and defending gets better. Let me know if you guys want a full video on the pro camera settings. And I can show you what other settings I use for my player maximum performance. I really hope this video taught you many things that can help your player and advance your performance. As always, if you like this video, please hit the like button and comment if you want to see more of these videos. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for me to continue revealing you all the tips, tricks and glitches in FIFA Pro Clubs world. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.